Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned in to the Talking Shed. Today, we've got the ambulance out here again doing a uh, fertilizer install on this brand new Case 2150. Um, some things that we did here, we put a 500 gallon uh, tank right there on the center beam. On these cases, they've gotta be turned crossways, of course. Uh, you can see we've got the Wilger flow monitors up there. Um, but I'm gonna turn this thing around and we're gonna go through this planner and talk about what we did. So we've got the Wilger uh, electronic flow monitors up there. So there is a uh, flow meter on each row and that ties in to a Wi-Fi transmitter that throws it up to a uh, Samsung Galaxy display up in the cab. So it'll show you row by row um, actual flow in gallons per minute and gallons per acre. So it's pretty handy. Uh, but we mounted the red balls right up here in front so it was in good line of sight of the operator. And uh, the tank and brackets worked out well. We've got our fill port there. Um, but I really like this planner and how we kept it simple. Um, just a simple ground drive. Got a ground drive kit from l and Ag. Put a 4055 John Blue on there. Simple contact wheel. So when we let it down, we're putting fertilizer on. When we lift it up, uh, we're not. Uh, the customer was pretty adamant about keeping it simple because on his old planner, they spent more time working on the fertilizer than they did the, the actual planner. So this system allows you to uh, plant no matter what in these short windows that were given. So we did the totally tubular out the back, uh, putting it on both sides of the row. I really like that setup here on these case uh, 2150s and how it works. We had to make a custom bracket for the fill. There wasn't really a great spot to put it other than that ladder, but uh, we came out the back here for the fill port. So two inch fill there with a cap and it turned out real nice. Of course, we have our check valves and orifices right here. Those are what's gonna regulate flow. And we put our orifices after the split. That way we get a true 50-50 split. So. A setup like this is about as simple as you can get. It's still extremely accurate. You know, when we say simple, we're not taking accuracy out of the equation. It's still extremely accurate. So it's simple, uh, easy to work on, easy to, to fix anything. And uh, I think it's gonna work really good for them. So that's what we're doing today. We're in East Liberty, Ohio, working on a 16 row 2150. And me and the ambulance are getting ready to head her home. So that's what we're doing today. Thanks for tuning in.